Hello everybody, welcome to Ageless Rock. Today, I'm going to share with you a very interesting archaeological park, so big you won't believe it. This ancient city in Siem Reap province in Cambodia is much larger than London city today. Today, we rarely talk about this majestic ancient city. In fact, when I ask my friends, do you know where is Cambodia? Most of them have vague idea where to pin it on a map. Even more sad is that about half of them never heard of Angkor Wat, despite the fact that it is no less magnificent compared to pyramids of Egypt. Mainstream says this is an ancient mega city. When you see this kind of map, you will have very little idea how big is this archaeological site. You need to compare to modern cities to understand the scale of this ancient mega city. The main event of this archaeological site is Angkor Wat and Angkor Thom, and the east and west barays. It is so vast it stretches 20 kilometers of distance from east to west. You will probably need a four-day tour to fully enjoy and understand the downtown of Angkor's mega city. Angkor Wat, Angkor Thom, West Barre and East Barre will blow your mind every day for four days. However, Angkor Archaeological Park is much bigger than Mega City downtown. It is safe to say it is 35 km by 25 km. From the northernmost temple to southernmost temple, from the furthest western temple I can see on Google Map to the furthest eastern temple, it is a journey approximately 110 km drive. If one square box is 2 km square, it will be approximately the size of London city. In comparison to Angkor Wat and Angkor Thom, they are five times city of London. That's how big this ancient mega city is. Even more crazy is that the entire main attractions, with lots of famous temples to see, is 36 times larger than the city of London. Although it is very hard to estimate the volume of sandstones used for building the entire Angkor Mega City, scholars managed to compute that approximately 5 to 10 million tons of sandstone blocks were used. So let's use 7.5 million tons as a reasonable amount to compare with other mega projects. Khufu's pyramid is made up of 6.5 million tons of limestone while Angkor Wat's temple is 7.5 million tons of sandstone. Unlike Khufu's pyramid, which is just stacking blocks of stone, Angkor Wat's temple is polygonally stacked and carved into beautiful arts with stories in details. This will make Khufu's pyramid looks like a simple project. If you replace the temple with Khufu's pyramid, it will look small compared to the entire site. Can you imagine the magnitude of this project just to dig the moat? Do you think this event can go unrecorded? Do you think locals actually forgot how to make polygonal blocks of sandstone? Do you think ancient chisels is all you need for this monumental achievement? I definitely don't think so. But that's not all. This archaeological site is made up of many large temples such as Angkor Thom, Bakong Temple, Ta Prom, Priyakan Wat, Prinap Temple, Hariharalaya City, and many more. The list will come to about 1,000 temples, big and small. Imagine you have a list of 1,000 sandstone temples to visit in Cambodia. You will need 3 years to go through all the sites if you visit one a day. The sandstone quarries will be all over Cambodia. With millions of chisels used, there will be thousands of ancient chisels you can find all over the archaeological sites. The nearest bedrock for quarry is believed to be at Nom Kulun. With that amount of sandstone quarried, mainstream archaeologists are still coming up with theories as to how did the ancient builders transport the sandstone from Nom Kulun Plateau, which is about 50 kilometers away. With this kind of marks on the ground, it is normally interpreted as quarry. However, this area is too small to be the result of 10 million tons of stone blocks for Angkor Wat. 
it certainly cannot explain 1,000 sandstone temples all over Cambodia. There are approximately a thousand ancient sandstone temples in Cambodia, where over a hundred of them with moats. No one knows how the sandstones were transported across Cambodia in all direction. Archaeologists have yet to come even close to knowing where the sandstone blocks came from. At 181,000 square kilometers, Cambodia is about the size of Oklahoma. Imagine Oklahoma has 1,000 churches made of sandstones. The largest church used more stones than Khufu's pyramid. All this was rediscovered with no clue how it was done 900 years ago. Would you not find this narrative weird? Well, that's all for today. Hope you liked my presentation on Angkor Archaeological Park in Cambodia. And see you next time. Lee Hain.